So solar energy is all the rage and you want to be one of the cool kids, right? So why not get started with the Parallax Solar Panel Kit? Today we're going to show you some tips and tricks so that you can successfully build your very own 30 watt solar panel. Let's get to it. It's going to be very important as we assemble our solar panel that we follow the included documentation very carefully. Now documentation should have been included with your kit, but if you've misplaced it or if you need to print out another copy, you can always do a product search on parallax.com. Now before beginning, I always like to gather everything that I'll need for a project so I don't have to go hunting for something while I'm in the zone. So a couple of must-have items that we'll need for these first few steps are a soldering iron, some solder, scissors, a ruler, a diagonal cutters, and some easily removable masking tape. The first step in the assembly instructions is to lay your copper traces on the plastic panel. As this is a fairly straightforward step, we won't show it here, but be sure to follow the included instructions to do so. Next is pre-tabbing all 12 of your cells. Now you should keep in mind that assembling your solar panel is not a race, so go slowly and really enjoy the process. Each of these solar cells is the thickness of about two human hairs, so as you can imagine, they're extremely easy to break. So just go slow, keep a steady hand, use those nerves of steel, and you'll really, really appreciate your final result in the end. And also, this flux pen here is your friend, your best friend. I mean, give it a name, get to know it, because this flux pen will make your job a lot easier. In order to pre-tab each of the 12 cells, we need to cut 18 10 inch pieces of tabbing wire and six five and a quarter inch pieces. Now when you unroll the tabbing wire from the spool, you'll have a couple of kinks in the wire. Before we can even think of soldering these pieces of tabbing wire to the cell, straighten each piece out with your thumb. This will make our job a lot easier when we begin soldering. Included are a set of gloves and it's completely up to you if you'd like to use them. They mainly protect against unwanted fingerprints on your solar cell, and while fingerprints won't affect the efficiency of the cell, it does make them less aesthetically pleasing. Now, if you do wear them, uh, your sense of touch is greatly decreased, so the chance of you breaking a cell goes up. And that's just a catch-22 that I'll let you figure out for yourself. Since the solar cells are extremely fragile, the best way to remove them from their stack is to pick up the stack by the paper and place it near the edge of your table. Then you can carefully slide the top solar cell into the palm of your hand and gently place the solar cell onto your cell workbench. Your cell workbench is one of the square pieces of wood that protected the cells during shipment. Now we need to affix the cell to your cell workbench so it won't slide around during the pre-tabbing process. This should be done by placing two small pieces of easily removable masking tape about 10 millimeters from the edge of the solar cell, perpendicular to the two traces. This will allow the cell to naturally cup when we solder the tabbing wire. And we're ready to start pre-tabbing. As I mentioned before, flux is your friend, so let's apply a couple of coats of flux to the traces on the cell. Next, take one of your 10 inch pieces of tabbing wire and place it about an eighth of an inch from the edge of the cell. Now we're going to apply just a little dab of solder just so we can hold it in place. Again, since flux is your friend, we're going to apply another couple coats of flux to the top of the tabbing wire before soldering it in place. Now just place about three eighths of an inch of solder on your soldering iron and gently and carefully spread the solder right on top of the tabbing wire. Spread the solder about halfway down the cell, apply another 3 eighths of an inch of solder, and spread it down the other half. Make sure there are no bumps or excess buildup of solder. Then repeat this process for the bottom trace.
Congratulations, we've now officially pre-tabbed our first cell or cell. Now we're ready to remove the cell from our cell workbench and move it to a safe place while we pre-tab the other 11 cells. Gently, gently, and patiently remove the tape from the cell. Once the tape is removed, you can lift the cell by its tabbing wire and gently place it wherever you want to keep it while you work on the other cells. Now I have full confidence that you can go forth and pre-tab your remaining 11 cells without breaking one, right? Just remember, go slow, be careful, have lots and lots of patience, and flux is your friend. If you get stuck, either come back and view this video or just refer to the documentation. And when you're ready to put all of your cells into your panel, come back and view part two of this video. Happy soldering!